Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tree Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to use Lottie files in Figma. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So if you're searching for a cutting-edge design and collaboration software, just click the link in the description box below to sign up and get started with Figma today. And for us to be able to get started, what you'll need to do in here is you'll just need to head onto the Figma community. Here onto the Figma community, you'll just have to search here onto the upper part on the search bar, Lottie Files. Click on to enter and then right after, you'll get redirected onto this page. You'll just need to find the Lottie Files in here. You'll just have to click onto the one in there and then right after, you'll just need to try it out. Now, once you're already in here, you'll get redirected here onto this page. And for you to be able to use this, since this does not, or Figma does not support body yet, what you'll need to do is you'll need a plugin for that one. So for you to be able to get get the log, the plugins, you'll just need to click onto this button in here. You should be able to see Lottie Files plugin. Click onto the one so that you could run it. Do a quick sign up process if you did not have an account yet. And once you're in, you'll just get redirected here onto this plugin. Now right after, once you've seen this screen or this pop-up, you'll just have to click onto Expert to Lottie. Here onto the Expert to Lottie, you'll need to select the frames to animate and you have selected this bouncing ball already. So for us to be able to use this, or if you could use the star, you'll just have to click onto it. We'll just have to click onto Expert to Lottie. So there are actually options as well onto the prototype flow that you could choose from in here. So we're going to click onto that one. And then right after, you should be able to see how it moves and some different settings in here that you could use. Then right after, you're going to go ahead and click onto insert as GIF in here so that we could see this as GIF and then click onto this button again to insert this. So these will convert the Lottie file to a GIF since Figma in here does not support Lottie yet. So we'll just have to convert it to GIF to use this. So as you can see, it will go to go ahead and ask you to save the animation. We're going to go ahead and save that and it will ask you to select a save location. So we'll just have to choose a workspace in here, click on to save and that's just basically it onto using Lottie files onto Figma. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you onto our next video.